Hi, I'm Justin Annis, Applications Manager for NXP's Radio Power Team. I'll demonstrate to you our, our characterization of NXP GAN for 5G in the lab. Let's take a closer look. Today's cell towers have changed quite a bit over the years. They've gone from lower antenna count to higher antenna count. This higher antenna count brings you faster and clearer signals. 5G radios have up to 64 antenna elements each one containing a power amplifier module, such as this one here. To test NXP's GAN, we have to recreate the 5G radio setup in our lab. We use a signal generator to generate a 10 by 20 or two by 100 megahertz waveform. We send this to the PA and then out to a signal analyzer. The two main things that we're looking for are signal integrity, AKA air vector magnitude, and how much energy is leaking into the adjacent channels or adjacent power ratio. Let's go to the lab and take a look. So we're now in the lab to look at the adjacent channel power. We have our signal source, which is 10 by 20 megahertz LTE waveform. And we're going into a preamp and then into our RF GAN module. All right, so here's the raw uncorrected spectrum of the signal. And the center of the image are the 10 transmit carriers carrying the data. And then on either side are the adjacent unused channels. Currently, the delta between these two is about 33 dB. Now we're gonna linearize the PA. So as the linearization is applied to the PA, you can actually see the energy in the adjacent channels decreasing. Our goal is to reach 50 dB delta. Let's see if we can make it. And done. Yay! Now that we've taken a look at adjacent channel power in the lab, let's take a closer look at linearity or the signal integrity of the power amplifier device. What we're showing here is EVM constellation map. The EVM represents the linearity or how faithfully the signal is being reproduced by the PA. On the left, we have traditional GAN, which you can see has a very cloudy and dispersive uh, point pattern. This means that the PA is distorting the signal beyond normal or what's accepted. On the right, we have our NXP RF GAN, you can see the dots are converging to a single location. This means that we're faithfully reproducing the waveform and making sure that the 5G signal is getting to you. Back live from the bench, here's traditional GAN linearity and then the excellent linearity of NXP's new RF GAN. We're very excited to get our NXP GAN technology into your hands and in your lab for you to test yourself. Thank you very much for watching and please stay tuned for our products coming out soon.